Hi, this is Roger Wagner, and we are here starting up one of the Apple II GS computers for the first time in heavens knows how many years. This is the Waz edition, Apple II GS. I'm about to throw the power switch. And, and... All right, Noel's not lost. Let's try doing this. Let's go to the control panel. There we go. We'll just fly through to check slots. Notice the muscle memory knows just where everything is. Number seven. The startup slot looks good. And let's check the date. 3.26.15, that is actually today's date. It's, uh, it's The clock has drifted just about four hours in 20 years, so that's not too bad. We can fix that. I think it's, it's about three, let's just say four, four oh five. That's pretty close to where we are. Escape out, quit, let's do a PR number seven. I've typed that a lot of times. What do we have here? Welcome to the Apple II GS System 6.0. All right, let's see. So what's inside is my Apple hard disk um, from back, way back then. So this will have a bit of a custom startup to it. There we go. That is ProCell, Pro Selector by Glenn Breeden. And in the menu, we have Hyper Studio 3.1 and 2.1. Um, we have HS16 and Sound Shop by Dave Klimas. Um, the Graphic Exchange, the Roger Wagner Publishing Products, AppleWorks GS, even that interloper, HyperCard 2GS. All right, let's go over here and check out Hyper Studio. Looks good, looks good. Looks like an Apple IIGS Finder desktop. No, not the Finder desktop. We're going right to Hyper Studio. Sorry about that. There it is. Michael O'Keefe, Dave Klimas, and Jeff Smith. The Hyper Studio Home Stack from the Apple II GS, circa 1997, maybe. Let's just see. This, if I remember right. That is the Apple II GS MIDI Synthesizer. And the idea is to play that music while... There was a slideshow of screens from the many Hyper Studio stacks that were around at the time. That one was from Jim Hirsch. His kids are grown. All About Me. Story writing. What a computer, what a computer. Video overlay card, mini synthesizer, controlled Lego robotics. Could do just about anything imaginable. Even had cameraman used computerized to switch between the computer display and a live video when a presenter was uh, doing a presentation so that the recording done on a regular VCR uh, could switch back and forth between the full screen uh, auditorium view and then the computer screen. Pretty cool. Let's see what a click does. I think we can get back to the home screen here somewhere. Oh, uh, wait, now we have another MIDI. That's, that's not, that's deliberate tuning happening. <laughs> wait for it.
And if you recognize that tune, we know how old you are. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for joining in today at this historic startup of an Apple II GS from 2095, 05, 20 years ago.